we are all children of God, right? We're all children of divinity, and God hopes and longs for all of his children to come home. But sadly, that's just not the case. That's just not, it's, that's not how it works on this planet. We are entangled in a tremendous karma that this planet has, and we are all entangled in it. And with each and every passing generation, this humanity just creates more karma for itself. It's highly unlikely that this planet will be able to get out from under it. But we are on the cusp, if you will, of being beyond help. There comes a point, the event horizon, the theoretical point where the gravitational pull of a black hole becomes so intense and so strong that not even light can escape. And if something falls past the event horizon, it's gone. It can never return. Our humanity has not yet crossed the event horizon. Which is why there are so many other humanities and so many beings in the supernal world whose gaze is fixated on this planet right now. And why so many of them have incarnated and are living here human lives. They're not aliens. A lot of people have all kinds of theories about aliens in disguise and all this nonsense. No, 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 no. Members of enlightened humanities have chosen to reincarnate here to help this humanity and also reap the tremendous benefits of facing the intense karma that this humanity is facing in its Kali Yuga. There is so much opportunity for advancement as a being to increase our level of being because there's so much suffering, there's so much darkness, there's so much hypnosis and ignorance. And there is so much, uh, again, potential treasure to be reaped from descending into the abyss that this humanity is in. But make, make no mistake, that abyss is internal. It's in all of us. And so somebody reincarnating on this planet takes on a portion of this planet's karma because we are all a part of this planet. When we live a life here, we are all part of the body of this planet. And so our karma is wound up in and encapsulated in the overarching karma of the planet. There's no escaping it. You don't get to come to this planet and reincarnate on this planet only with your karma. If you came here from another humanity, or you came here from the supernal worlds, wherever you came from, if you came here to live the path of the Bodhisattva, a life of suffering and sacrifice for humanity, well, okay, but you're going to be carrying a heavy burden like we're carrying a heavy burden. And the burden that we took on, and we're carrying that burden precisely because we need to be down here in the abyss with everybody else. And we needed to know what people were facing in that abyss. And we needed, we needed to know that firsthand. And there's no other way to know anything than by direct experience. That is the whole basis for our present book and the whole basis for every book that we write moving forward. And there are many beings that are living here now experiencing the hell, the abyss that this humanity is experiencing in order to be able to help humanity out of this hell.